Hey guys, in this video, we're breaking down the five best electric scooters in 2021. I've included options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for a budget scooter with good safety features and portability, or a premium scooter with extended range for the serious long-range commuter, I'll have the product for you. If you want more information on the best and most up-to-date pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Okay, so let's get started with the video. The fifth product on our list is the GoTrax XR Ultra. This is our best budget electric scooter. The GoTrax XR Ultra is powered by a 300 watt motor and delivers the perfect combination of power and battery life, making it an excellent option for a budget folding electric scooter for around $350. With a range of 16 miles and a top speed of 15 and a half miles per hour, the XR Ultra is ideal for most commutes. It features 8.5-inch pneumatic tires and a robust folding mechanism that includes a safety pin to ensure the scooter doesn't accidentally fold up while riding. While the XR Ultra doesn't have any type of a suspension system, the large air-filled tires do a lot to help smooth the ride on rough terrain. On smooth roads, the ride is very enjoyable, and due to the scooter's small size, it feels very nimble. The deck gives you a standing area of 19 by 5.9 inches and is covered in a rubber mat and has 4 inches of ground clearance. It features two braking systems. The front wheel has a regenerative brake that couples the DC motor into a charging circuit, force-feeding electrons back into your battery and creating drag on the motor, while the rear wheel uses a simple disc brake. The brake lever is sturdy and braking action is smooth and quiet. The cockpit is simple with basic controls making it good for beginners. The central element of the cockpit is a large, bright LED display that shows your speed and battery life. A single push button controls power, lights, and speed modes. There's a bright LED headlight and a rear reflector on the fender for safety, but no taillight, which can be remedied by clipping a red bike light to your backpack or helmet. If you're looking for your first scooter or looking for a budget-friendly model, the GoTrax XR Ultra would make a good choice. It has good power and braking abilities, and its pneumatic tires do a lot to keep your ride feeling smooth. The fourth product on our list is the Highboy S2 Pro. This is a great electric scooter for the money. Propelled by a quiet, powerful 350-watt brushless motor, the Highboy S2 e-scooter goes for around $500 and offers a top speed of 19 miles per hour. It can support riders up to 260 pounds, and on a full charge, you can expect to travel an average range of around 25 to 30 miles, making it a great electric scooter for the money. Despite its 10-inch solid tires and rear dual shock absorbers, the S2 Pro doesn't manage to tackle rough terrain as well as the GoTrax XR Ultra. While its 30-mile range is up there with the best budget scooters, it's best sticking to well-maintained roads and sidewalks, especially at higher speeds. The upside on this is that the solid tires are puncture-proof, so you won't have to worry about frustrating flats and tire changes. It features three brilliant lights for safe riding at night with taillights, headlights, and side lights. The deck has plenty of room to give you the space to find a comfortable stance and features a grippy rubber matting. The handlebars have textured rubber grips that provide good control. The handbrake is on the right and controls the rear disc brake, and you'll also find the thumb-operated accelerator here. On the left is the electronic thumb brake. An LED display is in the center of the handlebars and keeps track of your speed, rider settings, battery level, and cruise control. And when you're finished riding, the S2 Pro manages to fold in three simple steps that's perfect for stowing away at home, at the office, or in the trunk of your car. If you're looking for the most for your money, the Highboy S2 brings a lot to the table with a great ride on smooth surfaces in the city, offering good speed and range. The third product on our list is the Segway 9Bot Max Electric Kick Scooter. This is our best all-around electric scooter for most people. If you're looking for an electric scooter with a greater range, the Segway 9Bot Max Electric Kick Scooter at around $800 can take you up to 40 miles with a top speed of about 18 miles per hour and a 20% hill climbing grade with a heavy-duty 350-watt rear hub motor. So the 9Bot Max can propel heavier riders up steeper hills at a faster clip, making it a great all-rounder and a good choice for most people. The Max is propelled by a 350-watt motor that delivers about 40% more power than most scooters in this class but the Max doesn't have a zero start mode. This means that instead of the motor engaging when you activate the throttle, you have to kickstart it to about two miles per hour before the throttle will engage. It's a nice safety feature that's found on many scooters and it keeps the scooter from running away if the throttle is accidentally hit. The Max has strong braking abilities and uses one brake lever to control the front drum brake and rear electronic brake. Personally, I really like drum brakes. The mechanism is encased within the wheel, protecting it from the environment and any incidental damage, and braking feels smooth and doesn't require much effort. Despite its lack of suspension, the large 10-inch tires give the Max a better ride than some scooters with dual suspension. On the worst roads, you'll undoubtedly get shaken up a bit, but overall, the Max handles well over most terrain. 
With its large deck, thicker stem, and beefier build, the Segway 9Bot Max electric kick scooter is the whole package and feels like a legit commuting machine rather than a toy-level kick scooter and would make a great choice for beginners and riders who like to take a more leisurely approach. The second product on our list is the Apollo Explore. This is our best electric scooter for speed. If you're looking for an electric scooter that will give you a fast ride with extended range, the Apollo Explorer is worth looking into. The Explorer will run you about $1,400, but its zippy hustle and range make it one of the best electric scooters for speed and is definitely worth the investment. It has a single 1,000-watt electric motor with excellent acceleration, reaching 15 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds. Plus, it's also a solid hill climber, too climbing 65 yards up a 10% grade in 12 seconds at around 11 miles per hour. The Explore has front and rear mechanical disc brakes as well as a rear motor brake. Both mechanical brakes operate smoothly and from a safety perspective, I liked seeing triple redundancy in the braking system and the Explore gets top marks for this. The Explore has large pneumatic tires and a spring suspension in both the front and rear that handles rough terrain well, while on smooth roads, the ride is exceptional and remains stable at top speeds, with the spacious deck giving you lots of standing room. The cockpit area is super simple. There are two brake levers and a trigger-style throttle with an integrated color LCD that shows speed, odometer, and battery level. For increased safety, the Apollo has some built-in lights that will elevate your visibility on the road. However, they're positioned a bit low and aren't really effective for helping you see far ahead of you. LED headlights and button lights on the deck are stock, and there's also side deck lighting and stem lighting. But like the GoTrax XR Ultra, the rear fender has a reflector, but not a light, so I would recommend getting some additional lights to make up for it. If you're looking for a scooter with a little more zip, the Apollo Explorer would make a great choice for you. You'll also get extended range, a comfortable ride, and the safety of a triple braking system. The first product on our list is the E-Move Cruiser Electric Scooter. This is our best electric scooter for battery life. The E-Move Cruiser Electric Scooter is one of the most well-rounded, commuter-friendly electric scooters on the market. For around $1,400, you'll get extended range per charge thanks to the high-capacity battery life. The Cruiser has an exceptional feature set that includes 10-inch tubeless pneumatic tires and an LG battery with IPX6 water resistance rating so the Cruiser can withstand wet roads. Though the Cruiser has a powerful 600-watt motor, the controller is tuned to provide tempered acceleration so the feeling is never overpowering. At the same time, it's also a great hill climber and can reach a top speed of 28 miles per hour, but its most valuable attribute is its 50-mile range, which makes it a true long-range commuter. Like many of the scooters we've looked at, the Cruiser has an excellent redundant braking system in the form of dual X-Tech 140mm semi-hydraulic disc brakes with electronic braking on the rear wheel. The cockpit has wide handlebars with flat palm rubber hand grips that provide good support for long rides. On the left handlebar, there's a brake lever and the button console controlling the electric horn, headlight, and turn signals. On the right handlebar, there's the key start ignition, a voltmeter, a waterproof display with finger trigger throttle, and a brake lever. The lighting package is comprehensive and features deck button lights, two white lights on either side of the deck at the front, and two red lights at the rear that also act as turn signals and the deck lights wrap around the sides, which helps to maximize visibility from all angles. The headlight is bright and effective at helping you see, especially with the help of the front deck button lights, and the taillight responds to braking, blinking brighter when you apply the brakes. If you're looking for a scooter that can go the extra mile, the E-Move Cruiser is the long-range commuter you want. No other scooter packs in rider-focused features with such high performance like semi-hydraulic brakes, front and rear suspension, lighting and turn signals, and most of these standard features would be considered upgrades on other scooters. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you out in any way, please give the video a like and hit that subscribe button. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, I'll see you later.